firefighters are still at a block of flats on Granby Street in Shoreditch today following a fire and an explosion last night. A hundred firefighters were called out to the eight-storey building just before six o'clock. Four people were taken to hospital and crews remain on the scene due to an ongoing gas leak in the building. It's still not clear exactly how the fire started. Residents have described how they thought a bomb had gone off after a suspected gas explosion caused a fire at a housing block in Bethnal Green. People living there were evacuated from their homes after neighbours ran into the building to raise the alarm. Four people have been taken to hospital. Anton Allen reports now from the scene. This fire was so ferocious, it shattered windows and showered onlookers with debris. If you can imagine a bomb going off, it was like that. The whole house, because I lived just opposite, and the whole house shook. I saw, like, black flames, um, people crying. And I heard this incredible bang, and then saw wood and debris just fly through the trees across the churchyard. The sight of flames rising up the building and smoke filling the Bethnal Green air could not stop local heroes coming to the aid of their neighbours. Teenager Zach ran into the building to help the elderly and the vulnerable residents. You can imagine it was quite a bit um, misty and really dark to see there, so mainly we just knocked on doors, tried to cover our mouth from the mist and the smoke. Zach was nearby due to attending Somalian youth group Coffee Africa. His mentors are proud of the courage he showed. Zach, you and your friends helped so many vulnerable people get out of this building. Yeah. We helped a blind guy on the fourth floor. We, of course, I put him on my shoulders and one of my friends put his wheelchair down the staircase to, of course, assist him to the exit. Being a Muslim, we, of course, always aim to help people no matter what religion they are, what race they are. Despite the destruction, only four people were taken to hospital. Potentially, due to your actions, lives were saved. How does that make you feel? Yeah, I mean, everyone's calling me the neighbourhood hero. I'm, I'm, I really I'll let you guys decide that, but... I tried to do my part, like I said, try to bring people down, try to spread the message that there was a fire in the building, along with a few other people. Like Shortly after local heroics, 15 fire engines arrived. Around 100 firefighters fought the blaze and evacuated remaining residents. Today, their job is to secure the building and assess structural damage, whilst retrieving essential items. <laughs> Katina and Stanley's flat was below the fire. They feel lucky to be alive. I was in, in a terrible state. I, I was shaking. They had to calm me down. and I was in a terrible state. Absolutely it, 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 was state. Really, it was really horrible. And I'm over the church last night and I'm looking for the elderly and I'm thinking, where is this person? Where is that person? And yeah, I'm really worried about them. The sheer force of this fire shook the surrounding buildings and shattered glass that spread around the roads. But the community spirit in this area would not be broken. Young people and neighbours came together to ensure that the vulnerable and the elderly were literally carried to safety. And the quick response of the London Fire Brigade ensured that the fire didn't spread to the surrounding buildings. The London Fire Brigade's investigation team are at the scene trying to establish the cause of the incident. Antoine Allen, ITV News.